okay so till now you have learned a lot i think at least uh, about our stress and strain and all that stress and strain was related to your uniaxial okay that means in our cases we had a bar like this okay and we applied our tensile or compressive load in a single direction only and based on that we have analyzed our stress and strain okay so everything till now we have discussed is only related to your unidirectional okay unidirectional stress and strain in this video i will try to discuss about bi axial stress okay so this video is going to be all about bi axial stress so first i will try to uh, help you to visualize when this bi axial stress developed and how to analyze this bi axial stress primarily okay so for that you have to consider uh, some pressure vessel okay so what are pressure vessel simply pressure vessels are something within which uh, you store some liquid and that liquid is in pressure for example just consider this container okay so this is a cylindrical container okay this is the cylindrical container and within this container let's say you have some liquid or some gas in pressure and the internal pressure of this container is let's say this is p small p okay or you can consider also uh, a vessel that is spherical okay so here let's say this is the spherical vessel okay my friend is not that much good i'm sorry for that so in this also you are let's say you are storing some liquid or some gas that is uh, the pressure of the gas or the liquid is let's say again small p so definitely this sphere or this cylinder is subjected to some internal pressure and due to that internal pressure definitely if you consider any element let's say uh, here you are considering an element this element is subjected to some pressure and also here if you consider this one also okay consider any element okay in this vessel let's say this one this is also subjected to some stresses okay and the stress act something like this okay so in case of a uh, cylinder here this is one direction of stress and this is another direction of stress okay and similarly in this vessel also the stress is acting in two direction okay so this stress condition is known as your biaxial stress system okay so let's just find out if the internal pressure in this vessel in this two vessel first one is spherical second one is cylindrical is p what is the stress acting on the element okay so for that we need some parameter so this is the sphere okay or the spherical vessel it has a radius of r and the thickness thickness of the cell in both the cases let's say this is t and also in this case also uh, the thickness of the vessel is t okay now what you have to do we have to simply find out the stresses okay in the for the vessel in spherical vessel the stress we have to find out in this direction let's say this is x direction and as well as in this direction let's say this is y direction let me use some different color so this is y direction and this is x direction so the stress in y direction we will denote this as sigma y 
and the stress in x direction this is let's say uh, this is sigma x okay similarly in case of this cylinder consider an element here and it has also two stress so first one is let's say in the direction of x that is sigma x and in this direction sigma y okay so simultaneously we will find the value of sigma x as well as sigma y for both the cases so let's start so first consider this cylinder okay so to find out the sigma x what we will do we will simply cut this okay so let's cut this okay and if we take the left portion consider the left portion and it is looking something like this okay we have cut the left portion and the sigma x is acting just like this one this is sigma x agree so this is sigma x and the internal pressure is your p so just consider this phase what is the total force acting in this phase simply the pressure times the area of this phase and if the radius of the cylinder is r what is this area the area is pi times r square okay seventh standard so p times pi r square is the total force due to this internal pressure and now the stress in this section is sigma x okay and this is acting on the vessel along the circumference okay so the total force resistive force due to sigma x is the area of the circumference that is what is that that is 2 pi r times the thickness and the thickness is t so 2 pi r times t into sigma x so if you simply equate this two you are getting 2 pi r t into sigma x and this equation will give you sigma x as a cancel pi pi and 1 r so sigma x is coming as p times r divided by 2 t okay so this is the stress acting this x direction and this is also known as yes you are correct longitudinal stress okay now it's time to find out sigma y okay so let me erase this so to find out sigma y what we will do we will now cut the section along the axis okay simply cut it now consider the lower one or upper one whatever you like to do and it looks like this okay so this is the length and this is the carted portion okay so this is something looks after you take the lower half of the cylinder okay and again here the total internal pressure the total force in this phase due to the internal pressure is how much that is p pressure times the area and what is this area the area is simply the total length that is l times the 2r okay so this is 2r so p times l times 2r is the total force due to internal pressure and here sigma y is acting like this okay so this is the sigma y acting along the length okay and 
what is this total resistive force total resistive force is sigma y times again the area area means two length two length times thickness and thickness is t here so 2 l times t okay and if you cancel 2 2 l l you are getting your sigma y as your p times r divided by t got it and this sigma y is also known as yes you are correct that is hoop stress okay this is known as hoop stress okay got it so biaxial stress system is clear for cylinder okay now it's time for spherical okay so let me erase all these things so i have erased everything including the sphere so i have to redraw it okay just consider this as sphere okay and the internal pressure is again this is p the radius is your r okay and the thickness of the material that is t okay so consider any element here okay and there are two trays first one is sigma x and second one is your sigma y okay so again same funda just simply cut the section let's say first we are interested to find out sigma x now tell me does it really matter whether we find out sigma x or sigma y first because they are simply identical isn't it because this is a sphere so just find out any of this let's say sigma y okay we are finding sigma y so for that what you have to do again repeat with me repeat with me cut the section okay cut the section along x got it consider the lower part or upper part as you wish you can do it with upper part okay it will help you to clear your concept and this is the lower part just like a boil okay and after cutting it may look something like this okay you can fill it with soup okay just kidding and the stress sigma y is acting like this okay along the material and the internal pressure here is p and in this phase the total force due to internal pressure p is given as pressure times area and this is what is the area simply pi times r square okay and what is the resistive force if this is sigma y sigma y is acting over sorry this is sigma y this is acting over an area that is this circumferential length that is 2 pi r times the thickness that is t and again from static equilibrium these are same okay so cancel pi from each side 1r 1r and you are getting your sigma y as p times r divided by 2t and this is similar or sigma x okay so that's all about biaxial stress i have just uh, tried to give you a glimpse of biaxial stress and in the next lesson further we will analyze this biaxial stress on any element like this at the time i will not draw any sphere or any cylinder i will simply draw this element 
I will give you these two stress system okay and we will try to understand different stresses value at different plane like this one okay or like this one clear so that's all for today's session